On this episode, I go old school and I also talk about my upcoming eBay interview. This is Dave, and welcome to the SVA Card Collectors Podcast. What is up? What is going on, everyone? Dave at SVA Card Collectors, going old school. That is right. I am going old school. I do have this big, gigantic microphone as I'm driving because the sound quality of this is a lot better. But you're probably going to hear a lot of other stuff as in cars driving, bumps, and maybe me signaling. If you don't like it, tough crap. This is what I used to do. Um, And um, I was not feeling too well. I was a little uh, under the weather yesterday. And it wasn't because of the coronavirus. No, 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 no. It was um, just had a headache. And then my eyes were killing me. Sometimes I get really bad headaches, so um, light will just destroy me. So I'll just have to close my eyes for a bit. It doesn't happen too often, but every once in a blue moon it happens. And um, so I usually record them very, very late at night, the day before. So I'm up to date with everything, Um, but it wasn't meant to be. So I am now driving to a job. Um, Hopefully I get, we're going to have to estimate it. And then maybe I get the job and all those lovely things. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I feel way more comfortable in here doing the podcast than I do sitting in my um, living room, in my tidy whities No, I don't wear tidy whities but I will be in my boxes. So, yeah, I feel way more comfortable doing this. I guess because I'm just used to it. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's that. And I do, yes, I do have a coffee. I bought it at Starbucks because I am a fancy man. Fancy. And um, so it smells a little bit like perfume. So either somebody who made it had a tremendous amount of perfume. It was a bunch of old, it was a bunch of young girls, vibrant girls. And it doesn't smell like the type of perfume that they would wear. It smells like an old lady's perfume. So either an old lady sprayed perfume on near my coffee or an old lady drank my coffee with her coronavirus laden lips. Yeah. But it is what it is. So um, eBay, I told you guys I'm gonna focus more on eBay. I'm gonna start off with a good story, not a negative story about eBay and their sellers. Um, I will remember the guys, I don't remember the guy's name now, and I will put it in the description below and I will say it on Friday. Um, He's really not selling any cards right now when I looked up on his eBay store because I wanted to link to it. It's all like wood stuff. I had ordered Frank Thomas uh, Project 2020 cards for $110. It went down to 20 bucks or 25 bucks, whatever it is. I think it was the Don C one. So I was taking it up the keister on that. It is what it is. I didn't say boo. I didn't say boo to anyone. I didn't do anything because I didn't want to hear people from the Project 2020 group or maybe, and then, you know, people, I don't listen to him. He canceled. So I just took it, took it in the keister. Well, this gentleman sent me five Topps 2020 cards, including the Frank Thomas. Um, I thought it was the wrong order, so I emailed him and he said, nope, the price is a dropped. Um, just trying to be a good eBay seller. That's how, you be a, that's how you are a good eBay seller. The guy got $110 for it. I don't know what he bought the other cards for. I'm sure he bought them for like maybe 16, 17 bucks. What is it to him to give him give me four? He's still making money. Now, obviously it's not more you know, money as a hundred bucks, but now I'm talking about him had I had his name and I will give, get his name and I will put it on blast um, so he gets credit. Um, now, he, I would buy off of him Whenever he has stuff, I'm going to look to see if he has stuff. And if it's something that, he, that I like, I'm going to buy off of him than anyone else. And it was talked about last week in Wednesday's um, talk, which, reminder, we ha- will have tonight at 9 o'clock. You have to join the Facebook group, and we have a live talk. Talk about whatever you want, questions, whatever, concerns. It's been a little slow lately, maybe because I stink or maybe because you stink. I will go with the latter because if I stink, that's not good. Not good. But um, 
it was brought about how um, Bernard was giving you know cards away he would give like if he saw that the guy was a Braves fan or he bought a Braves card he would give him another card you know maybe a common or just you know a card he had laying around and he would give his business card and I spoke about this way back when when I first started to different uh, differentiate yourself from other people um, people will remember that stuff I'm going to remember that I got four cards from that guy you will remember that that seller gave you a bunch of extra cards that he didn't need to and so you know a lot of times people go oh, I don't know what to do with these commons here's a great example you just give them away if you sell something give them a couple what are you gonna be out 40 cents it doesn't matter you don't want them in your house anyway so think about that stuff think about how you can differentiate yourself um, on eBay because I think that platform is gonna get pumping soon even more than it was um, I know on outside of the baseball world, there are more eBay sellers jumping in just because of what's happening right now with the world and pandemic and people are out of jobs and they're looking to make money. Um, I will be, I don't know if I'm going to be interviewed or he will be interviewing me or I'm going to be interviewing him. Um, the guy's name is Daily Refinement. Um, he is a big time eBay seller. He's had a podcast, I mean, he's had a YouTube channel for a long time. If you really want to learn about how to sell on eBay and not um, mushy stuff, not, oh, well, I went to a store and I bought these 10 items. You should look for them. I'm talking about hardcore analysis. He looks at big stores, sees what they do and tries to replicate it. And he tries to grow. Um, a lot of stuff that I've talked about, I've gotten from him. And I've mentioned him before. Um, a lot of stuff that I've known because just selling on eBay, you just learn. Um, I, I, listening to him, I like once he started talking about these are the reasons why people crash, and he literally said exactly why I crashed. Like he knows his stuff, um, and he knows how to get out of that rat race. So if that interests you, um, either it's going to be tomorrow night. I don't know if it's going to be live. I just don't know yet. I just got the email and I'm going to be doing whatever the hell I'll be doing <laughs> Thursday night. Um, I think it'll be really interesting. I think you guys will learn a lot. And if you start listening to his channel with regards to eBay and selling other stuff outside of baseball cards, um, it's just a good thing to learn. Um, I was thinking about branching out. I liked, I was able to sell sneakers. I was able to sell Nikes on Amazon, um, which is somewhat difficult to do. And so I was making a decent amount of money and I was thinking about going back into that as well as uh, sports clothes, try to get the whole package. But I, I don't know if my, my heart's in it. You know, like baseball cards, I don't even do baseball cards. I have a hard time posting cards. Am I gonna really post um, sneakers and uh, used jerseys or new jerseys, whatever I can find. I'm not too sure. Um, I just want to stick to my, uh, my website, which guys, I need more articles. I'm out of articles. I only had three, and I posted three. If you guys want a chance to win $50, second prize, you're going to get the booby prize, either the Ken Griffey Shore or the Nolan Ryan Videz. Um, start writing send it over to me you know you can promote your Instagram or your YouTube or whatever the hell you want to, to uh, promote um, and it helps me out with content I've got a bad thing about eBay partner network now when you click on some of the links on my website I get a fee they were sending me emails saying that I had to fill out a form I had no idea about this form because it was going into my spam I don't know why, when you go into eBay Partner Network, that's the affiliate like website, you can, they could have put like a big message right there or just give me a message right, right on there saying, hey, I need to fill out this form. So what did they do last, uh, two days ago on Monday? They terminated my entire account and said I forfeited all the money that I earned. What BS is that? So you got all the sales for it, I did all the work for you, and now you're just taking the money that I earned. For what? Because I didn't fill out your little form. It's a jerk move on eBay. Uh, that's sometimes why I don't like, eBay does silly things and jerk things. Um, I sent an email out saying, hey, what's going on? This was in my spam. 
Why wouldn't it takes two seconds for me to fill out? I would have filled it out in two seconds had I known. Um, I don't check my spam too often. Now I'm going to have to. But I created another account, um, and I have to now do the long process of changing all the links to this new account, which is a pain in the butt. But it is what it is. But website I like. I'm trying to push. I'm trying to put more content to help you guys. Um, I like the articles, so I'm, I'm pushing for that. I'm just giving a uh, synopsis of SVA. Maybe uh, I should learn you something. Maybe should. Maybe. Nah, I don't know. Do you, do you really want it? Do you really care? I can talk about eBay. I can talk about eBay all day. But um, I think if I have that, that interview, I think you're going to get a lot more out of that. Um, just, just, a, just the overview of what I see. Basketball is going insane right now. Everything is just going up. Um, guys, just get in now. Do what you have to do now. Once the season starts, it's not going to be like that because now you're going to have actual like stats and people are going to do certain things. Um, be careful of the coronavirus. Russell Westbrook has just got it, of course, because I bought his cards. Um, he got the corona. Um, but do all you sell and try to do everything that you can before the season starts. And LeBron James, the big guys, try to hold, but you're going to want to get rid of them. You don't want to be stuck at the end. I don't think this is going to last, and I don't think it's just going to keep going up the following year. I think, like I said, November, December, that's when stuff is going to hit the fan. You don't want to be sitting on these cards when you could have made a lot of money. I'm telling you now. Baseball, same thing. Baseball, you're going to want to sell. Um, I don't think it's as crazy as basketball. It's not. It's not even close. Um, but, again, you don't want to be sitting, and in October, all of a sudden, either they cancel it or, you know, your guy really didn't do too much. Um, it's just like a regular season now. You, you know, we have that run-up where everything goes high, and um, it's going to go down. Um, stay away from hobby boxes. Stick to retail if you can find them. I think hobby is just way too much money right now. Just way too much money right now. Um, Tyler Hero. I like Tyler Hero for basketball. Everyone's jumping on none as well. I like the Miami Heat. They are just a tough team. Um, of course, now, because I said that, they're done for. But that's my... I always say Tyler Hero. Everyone's probably like, yeah, Dave, we know. But I just like it. I think he's going to be a good player. All right, guys. I just wanted to get this podcast in um because i've been doing pretty well with it the monday wednesday friday and i just want to get this in svacardcollectors.com flick chat you guys got to start talking it up a bit maybe it's me too i got to start uh answering more questions i don't know i think i'm pretty pretty quick once after one o'clock when i'm done watching the, the rugrats um what else we got that's it guys and you guys know what to do Buy some cards, go broke. Later. You've heard me talk about Starstock. They've been a sponsor of the show for a couple of months now. Well, now you can deposit, purchase cards, view in your collection, and flip those cards back on the marketplace with so much more to be built. Starstock is building a sports card marketplace aimed to be faster, cheaper for flipping sports cards than any other platform. They're currently looking for people who want to submit their cards to sell on this new platform. Here's what Starstock is offering. 5% commission, no ingestion fees. You send in the cards, they do all the work. Cards are guaranteed and secured in the vault. I've seen the little guy, his name is Pepe. He doesn't let anybody in or out. Um, you can choose cards to ship back to you at any time. You can buy, flip, store, or ship cards with a click of a button. If you're interested in getting involved and sending those cards, contact Mike at Mike at Starstock.com. Again, Starstock is only looking for rookie cards and our prospects of current players. Head over to Starstock.com.